Hey bakers, John Cannell from Preppy Kitchen here. Today we're making strawberry shortcake. This classic is so easy to make and just beyond delicious. Let's get started. We're gonna do this whole thing in the food processor, starting off with 480 grams of all-purpose flour. That's four cups if you're not measuring it out using a scale. Oh, so close. There we go, 480 grams. Now a quarter cup of sugar. You could add a little bit less, a little bit more. I think this is the right amount for the shortcake. One and a half tablespoons of baking powder. Sprinkle that in there. And then a teaspoon of kosher salt. There we go. Okay, normally I'd whisk this up, but since it's a food processor, we're just gonna pulse it up. All right, so let's get this on there and move it along. This motor is so heavy. Must be very high quality. Pop that on. And let's just pulse it up to mix everything up. <laughs> just checking. Into a medium bowl, I'm adding a cup of milk that I soured with like two to three teaspoons of lemon juice. Look at that. Yeah, curdled. <laughs> you could also use buttermilk, but I never have enough buttermilk on hand. It's really annoying. Adding in a quarter cup of cream. Mmm. And one egg with no shells. Do you see this happened? There we go. Let's just whisk that up really quickly. This will get poured on top. But in the meantime, we're gonna add in half a cup of cold cubed butter. So I just cut it into like little less than an inch sized cubes. Sprinkle those around. Now let's pulse this until we get like a coarse mixture. Look, totally want to stick my fingers in there, but I know better. Now let's pour our wet mixture on top. And pulse it a few more times. We're gonna roll this out, but we need to get a floured surface ready. Get my biscuit cutters. Oven's preheated to 425 Fahrenheit. So let's get this prepped. I'm working on a pastry mat. It's a great way to be able to move things around and not worry about stuff getting stuck to your counter. Give it a nice flouring. Dump your dough out onto the pastry mat. It's gonna be messy, <laughs> just telling you ahead of time. I'm not gonna knead it. I just wanna make it a bit more cohesive. So I'm gonna press it together. Sprinkle with some more flour and let's roll it out. That's good. So move it around too, make sure it doesn't get stuck. Dip your pastry cutter in flour and press straight down. Pop it on to your baking sheet. So basically no twisting, just press down. You don't want to seal the edge, you want it to get nice and puffy. And then every time, <laughs> flour your cutter. There we go. Makes it so easy. Okay, so I have five nice ones and a lot of dough left over. We're gonna press it back together. This one isn't gonna be your beauty shot, if you care about these things. It's going to be the one with a lot of personality and all those wrinkles on top. See, like, there's just no getting around the cracks that form, but it's okay. This last one is just gonna be just for snacking. It's not gonna rise up properly. It has a lot of form issues, but it'll taste good still. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that one over here. Okay, the last thing we wanna do is make sure everyone is kind of tight together because biscuits that are baked together rise up high together. I'm gonna to brush the tops with a little bit of cream you could also use an egg wash, or you can mix an egg yolk in. The world is your oyster here. This will just help them kind of brown up and become a little bit more golden. Let's cap this off with a little bit of sanding sugar just for some sprinkle and crunch. They'll look really pretty. That's optional though. All right, into the oven for about 15 minutes. At 425, they'll cut nice and golden brown, really pretty. 
Got a bunch of strawberries here. How many you use is kind of up to you. Like, do you want to pile it high with strawberries or have like just a couple layers? So you decide, but a good rule of thumb is like that much strawberries need like that much sugar <laughs> to help them macerate or release their juices. So first up, let's cut the heads off and then slice vertically. Just nice pretty slices that will look great in our dessert and also release their juices much more quickly. Do, do, do. Don't mind me, I'll just be doing this for a while. <laughs> so pretty, oh my gosh, it's like the nicest thing to do once winter is over is just drown yourself in berries. If you have a smaller strawberry, you could also quarter it. It looks kind of pretty like that too, so just vertically like this. And you have like nice little strawberry wedges. I'm gonna toss these strawberries with several tablespoons of sugar. It should be about a quarter of a cup, but you can kind of reduce that if you want. And what's gonna happen is that sugar is gonna make all the juices start leaching out and you'll have this like amazing concoction. But I'm gonna add a few tablespoons of Cointreau. You could use Grand Marnier or whatever orange liqueur you'd like. I think it's a really tasty companion to the strawberries. Let's mix that around. Cover this up, leave it in the fridge until you're ready to assemble, at least 20 minutes, and you'll have a delicious, delicious treat. When your biscuits are cool and you're ready to assemble the shortcakes, we're gonna make some whipped cream, so easy. One and maybe one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. Depends on how high you wanna pile those shortcakes. And for me, I wanna pile them pretty high. So one and a half cups. Then a drizzle of sugar, maybe like two tablespoons or so. You can add that in there. Vanilla will go in last. Teaspoon of vanilla. You're gonna watch it carefully. If it goes over it, no, no, no. Oh. Speaking of which, you gotta watch this carefully because if you over whip it, so you're done. And whipped cream doesn't grow on trees. So here, perfect consistency, nice whip. It was almost gonna go over. Gotta be careful with that. All right, now it's time to assemble. I'm gonna grab the strawberries from the fridge where they've been chilling for quite a while. To assemble these delicious biscuits, we're gonna cut them in half. Ooh, they are fall apart tender, look at that. Now we want a big dollop of whipped cream. This is why we made so much. How could you say no to this already? Like, hello, what's going on here? All right, now I'm gonna do this by hand. Start placing your strawberries. You want them poking out a bit so people know something really delicious is happening inside of here. And you can even, if desired, just stick them in for a little bit of extra depth. <laughs> I think that looks really pretty. I mean, if you want, you can add in just a little bit more whipped cream on top. Add that layer over here. Is that looking good? And should we put some more whipped cream and strawberries on top? Yes, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> and... I mean, that's not the most beautiful dollop I've ever seen in my life, but it's okay. Last little bit of garnish, just for some contrast and a nice botanical infusion is a sprig of mint. Perfect. What kind of monster would say no to this? Mmm. Mmm, that biscuit is crispy on the outside, ultimate fluff inside. Inside and on top, clouds of whipped cream, so creamy and delicious. If you like this recipe, click up here for my ultimate chocolate cake. It is so rich, fluffy, fudgy, delightful, your mind will be blown. And if you want a bigger strawberry cake with a crazy decoration scheme on, click down here for my strawberry cake recipe, it will be a delight for the mouth and the eyes. Thanks so much for watching and bon appetit.